Human papillomavirus, HPV, is a group of more than 200 related viruses, with more than 40 types easily transmitted through direct sexual contact, from the skin and mucous membranes of infected people to those of their partners. Infection with specific types of HPV is recognized as one of the major causes of cervical cancer, which is the fourth most common cancer in women worldwide. Development of HPV infection HPV infects the epithelial cells of the skin and mucous membranes, and while most infections cause no symptoms and resolve spontaneously, persistent infection with high-risk HPV types can lead to cervical cancer. The virus integrates into the host cell DNA, and disrupts normal cell functions, leading to the overproduction of certain proteins, notably E6 and E7, which in turn inhibit tumor suppressor proteins like P53 and RB. This disruption can result in the uncontrolled cell growth that leads to cancer. Global Impact and Statistics According to the World Health Organization, cervical cancer is the fourth most common cancer among women globally. Approximately 570,000 new cases of cervical cancer were diagnosed in 2018 alone. The more accurate statistics for 2023 is not found as of production of this video in May 2024. Cervical cancer caused about 311,000 deaths worldwide in 2018. Nearly all cases of cervical cancer, 99%, are linked to genital infection with HPV, and two HPV types, 16 and 18, cause 70% of cervical cancers and precancerous cervical lesions. The HPV vaccine has been shown to significantly reduce the rates of infection by the targeted HPV types, highlighting the importance of vaccination programs to prevent the initial infection and subsequent cancer development. Regular screening and preventive vaccination are considered the best strategies to reduce HPV-related cancers, particularly cervical cancer. This brief overview of HPV and its global impact sets the stage for understanding the critical nature of research and interventions aimed at combating this virus and preventing the cancers it can cause. Introduction Today, we delve into a pivotal study that examines the link between human papillomavirus, HPV, infection and the proliferative activity in cervical neoplasia. This comparative study, conducted by T. Murakami and colleagues, provides insightful data on how HPV influences cell proliferation in the uterine cervix, potentially leading to cancer. Study Background The research focused on various stages of cervical dysplasia, ranging from mild to severe, and carcinoma in situ CIS, as well as normal cervical epithelium. Utilizing in situ hybridization with biotinylated DNA probes for HPV types 6, 11, 16, and 18, alongside immunohistochemical staining with the PC10 monoclonal antibody to proliferating cell nuclear antigen, PCNA, this study sought to uncover how HPV infection could drive the progression of cervical neoplasia. What is PCNA? Proliferating cell nuclear antigen, or PCNA, is a protein found in the nucleus of cells and is a crucial factor in DNA synthesis and repair. In the context of cancer research, PCNA serves as a marker to assess the proliferative activity of cells, helping identify the growth rate of potentially cancerous cells. Key Findings The study revealed several critical insights. 1. PCNA as a marker, PCNA was successfully used to detect proliferative activity in cervical tissues, with the PCNA labeling index significantly increasing as the severity of cervical neoplasia escalated. 
For example, normal cervical epithelium showed a PCNA index of 3.5%, which sharply rose to 36.3% in carcinoma in situ. 2. HPV infection and proliferation, interestingly, the overall PCNA labeling index among HPV positive groups, types 6, 11, 16, 18, did not differ significantly from those with no HPV detected across different grades of cervical lesions. 3. High-risk HPV types, more notably, the presence of high-risk HPV types 16 and 18 was associated with significantly higher PCNA indices compared to the low-risk HPV types 6 and 11, and the HPV negative group. This suggests that HPV types 16 and 18 are particularly aggressive in driving cell proliferation in cervical tissues. Implications of the study These findings underscore the importance of monitoring HPV types 16 and 18 in cervical dysplasia, as they are indicative of higher proliferative activity, which could lead to a higher risk of progressing to cervical cancer. The study emphasizes the need for vigilant screening and targeted interventions for infections with these high-risk HPV types. Conclusion As we await further research, this study offers a crucial understanding of the biological interactions between HPV infection and cellular mechanisms in the uterine cervix. It highlights the potential of PCNA as a marker in identifying high-risk cases of cervical dysplasia and points towards more personalized and precise approaches in the prevention and treatment of cervical cancer. Call to Action Thank you for joining us in this exploration of a critical aspect of cervical cancer research. If you found this information enlightening, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Your engagement helps us continue to bring vital research insights to light. Don't hesitate to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Together, we can make strides in understanding and combating cervical cancer.